Farmer is in a really nice spot tonight. He's $3,800. Patrick Corbin, it's crazy to say his season has somehow gotten worse his past five starts. You would think that would be impossible, uh, considering how nightmarish it had been before that point. But his last five starts, 7.62 ERA, a 433 opponent Woba in that span of time. And Farmer really has done all of his damage in 2021 against left-handed pitching. He's got an 836 OPS and a 238 isolated power against Southpaw pitchers. So I think Farmer could be in a really nice spot. And he's someone who actually carries a little bit of upside, despite the fact that you probably didn't even know who he was two months ago. All right, Matt, where are you going? So I, I never thought that I would be talking about these kinds of players this season, but there are actually some other Angels hitters that I really like. Part of it is because they're facing McCullers, who I do think will be overly popular. Um, but the Angels are really cheap. And if you want to play guys like Soto, Otani, maybe you want to play Vlad too, Bryce Harper, there's a lot of expensive hitters. So if you want to get some savings with some other hitters, you have probably the leadoff hitter for the Angels in Brandon Marsh. And the reason that I like him and some of the other Angels with some speed is that Lance McCullers actually, if there's one thing that he doesn't do well, it's limit walks. He, he does walk a lot of hitters and it will allow opportunities for stolen bases. I like Otani for that reason, but Marsh is 2200, probably in the leadoff spot. Um, I think that that's a value play that would be obvious if McCullers wasn't a popular pitcher tonight, but because most lineups are going to have him in them already, I think Marsh goes overlooked. I think all of these angels go overlooked. So this stack is going to have a hard time scoring eight, nine, or 10 runs. But even if they score four or five, the pricing is good enough that that could still be worth having. Nick, which hitter under 4K are you rolling with? Well, I was looking at Farmer like Gary, but I ended up landing on Corey Dickerson at 2.5K. Again, going against Pineda tonight, we're doing a little mini Blue Jay stack here. Of course, he's towards the bottom of the order. And he's another guy that was doing well, obviously not as well as George Springer was, but in a larger sample size, was doing well against right-handed pitching coming into this month. Make sure you check the lineup tonight because I know Dyson played last night and then Gritchick is splitting time with Dickerson too. So, of course, want to make sure that he's in there before you play him tonight.